All right, in this quick tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to move your cloud recordings from Zoom onto Google Drive. So a lot of people know that Zoom cloud recording is very convenient because when you start a meeting, it would start recording to the cloud, even if your computer fails. Now, but the problem is, even with pro accounts, without purchasing an additional plan, uh, these would fill up, right? They're filling up on your account quickly, and then before you know it, you've exceeded the 5 gigabyte allocation that Zoom gives you. So now Zoom disables your cloud recording. It will say cloud, rec uh, cloud recording has been disabled because you've exceeded your five gigabytes. So to actually do this, to actually clear up and unlock your account again, you need to go into every one of these uh, meetings that you have and download every one of these files. And then after that, you, you would probably want to check that you've downloaded these files on your computer reliably and then manually upload each of these into Google Drive into the respective folder of this meeting. That's a very tedious process, and I'm very sure that I'm not the only one with this issue. So I've created a basic tool uh, that is going to solve all these with Python, and the other tool that we're going to use today is called Free File Sync, which will take any folder on your computer and synchronize it with Google Drive. So it will only synchronize the files that changed without needing to re-upload previous files. So Free File Sync is a tool to synchronize files by pushing the newer updates to the server and then what uh, the Python tool that I've written here is called Zoom Downloader Tool and the Zoom Downloader Tool simply looks up the Zoom recordings that you have over the years of X amount of years that you want to retrieve and then one at a time you could choose the meetings that you want to download and it will fetch all these files for you uh, very securely and it will make sure that you've downloaded all these files before you sync them. With that said let's begin. So to begin we go log into our Zoom and we click recordings you could see here's a list of my recordings uh, for example one of them Jaro Palm team meeting right 364 me megabytes and what we want to do here is we want to download these three files okay but we want to create a new folder first so we're going to do this and we're going to go into CD scripts um, this is where I saved my file right my script so I'm going to say Python 3 zoom download w progress with progress Pi. And then now it's going to say, welcome to Zoom Downloader Tool, enter years of recordings to retrieve. Well, because this was a few years away, I just said three years. So for sure, we'll come up with some good recordings. It's going to fetch, it's, what it's doing right now is it's talking to Zoom, the Zoom Cloud API, and it's fetching all these months, one month at a time, because that apparently Zoom limits you to fetch only one month at a time. Uh, once the fetch is complete, you could see a list of our meetings here. You could see that it matches this very well. In our Zoom cloud recordings list, you know, Zoom team meetings, you know, narration, blah, blah, blah. You could see that these meetings match very well. Um, for this one, we're going to just download one meeting. So we'll say uh, meeting index is one. And then enter the folder name. Uh, why folder name? Because sometimes you see how there's a colon here, right? Or a dash. Sometimes there's a slash. You can't have slashes in, you know, your folder names. So that's why in my script, I'm going to give you a chance to rename the folder to what you want it to be. So in this case it's 6-9-2021 Jaropalm team meeting. And then once you hit enter, it's going to start downloading all these files for you. Uh, and it's going to go one at a time so you get the best download speeds that you can, instead of all of them slowly doing it together. Right, but it will queue them up in a um, in chronological order so that you can get all these files rest assured that you don't have to worry about them. So once it's done downloading, it was it's going to tell you that the download is complete. All downloads finished, right? And then you could, if you want to, you could check the files that you have by going into the folder. And you could see uh, here you have a 60, about 60 MB, you have about 160 MB and 150 MB. So if you would like to, you could right click and open with VLC to check and make sure the files are actually working. So we're going to do that. Um, just you know, jump in anywhere into the file and you should see that it works effectively. Uh, yeah, so you, you should see that it works effectively and there you have it. So now, because we have this whole thing and because you could see that the file size is about 380 MB, which is going to be close enough to the total here estimated by Zoom, uh, you should be good to go. You could go ahead and delete this. But if you don't want to yet, you could sync it to Google Drive by going to hit compare. 
and hitting sync. Now, as with this setting, the sync is using the update function. Not it's not actually syncing, it's using update function. Uh, once that's completed, you can go ahead and check this box here, and you could say delete selected. So let's give it a second. Yep, there you go. So now it's cleared, and we can hit delete. Well, congrats. So keep repeating this process for your you know, 10, 20 recordings, and before you know it, you'll clear everything up.